It's been a busy week at the Capitol. As most of you know, coming into this session, one of the big priorities both for the Chamber and for the Legislature was to uh, find some control of the health insurance issue. The biggest issue has been the rising rates in the individual market in both the House and the Senate quickly introduced legislation to bring some some relief to folks in the individual market and some stability to it. Um, the House has passed its bill through all of the relevant committees. It's teed up for um, legislative action on the House floor this, this week. Uh, the Senate similarly passed it through all of its legislative committees last week and actually also passed it off the Senate floor. Um, both bills, like I said, include important provisions to bring subsidies to folks who are struggling in the individual market. Um, the, uh, both bills also include important provisions for the business community, including making it easier for small employers to self-insure, making sure that small employers can take advantage of new federal rules that will allow them to uh, help their employees on a pre-tax basis by individual plans. And also, uh, both bills would require the Department of Commerce to look at some new ways to bring greater flexibility to small employers in the small group market to increase their, their, their options for, for insuring their employees. Um, one difference between the two bills is the Senate included uh, in its bill uh, uh, a reinsurance provision to bring long-term stability to the individual market. The House so far has decided to work on that piece separately, um, but the Senate is bringing that provision into conference. It's expected that uh, the House will pass its version of, of the, the health insurance stability bill off the House floor this week. Um, and so we expect both the House and the Senate to go to conference this week, and uh, we'll be actively participating in that to make sure that a, the bills get done, that they do bring some relief and stability to folks in the individual market, but also that those important provisions for small employers are included as well.